you've seen so far of Michael Jordan. I gotta say, I'm impressed. He's playing against some of the country's uh, and making a A seven-foot junior from Cambridge, Massachusetts, and Georgetown University. Number six, Patrick Ewing. Patrick? What's up, Ryan? Six junior from Brooklyn, New York. And <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what type of man? Well, you can tell these players aren't about to come out here and just make each other look good. I think that speaks to the three. And then it's teammates Larry Bird and Robert Parrish filling out the front court. Stop it. Get some help. Interesting to watch as a fan. Part the fact that both teams are playing for Keith is so interesting. Sensational. Yeah, I agree with you. I think this can't take your eyes off of him. He's a remarkable young talent. You it puts Jordan in double figures. Jordan looking it over. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Oh, there's a reason it was way off. He got fouled. Yeah, easy whistle. Team USA shooting their second and third free throws tonight. Balance clear. So as a player, you know the old saying, iron sharpens iron as one man sharpens another. Oh, I love it, Clark. Here's Woodson trying to get open his bird. And once again off the mark by the Stars. Knocked loose. A steal by Isaiah Thomas. Oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. All right. Michael Jordan getting it done for Team USA. Alford passes to Jordan. What type of man? Stolen by Thomas. You know, every player wants to win a game they're playing in. But in this match, what type of man? Pride and motivation. No one near him. Team USA grabs the miss. Ewing's got six rebounds in the game. Here's Jordan. <laughs> two points on the way. Now, here is Bird. Jordan with the rebound. They can't expect him to miss that shot consistently. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Damn, damn, damn! <laughs> it's Team USA who is able to capture a win over the NBA Stars in this exhibition contest. Mike, what a game we just saw. You have to respect what Team USA was able to accomplish here.